Hey guys, Mr. Crave. Hey, it's Mr. Crave. Hey, it's Mr. Crave. Hey guys, Mr. Crave. Hey guys, Mr. Crayfish. Hey guys, Mr. Crayfish. Hey guys, Mr. Crave. Hey guys, Mr. Crave. Hey guys, 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 this is Mr. Crayfish and welcome back. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to build this mob safety indicator. So what this does is it indicates whether or not it is safe to go outside. So when it's on green, it means that it's safe to go out there. When it's on yellow, it means that there are either, either mobs starting to spawn or they are dying because of sunlight. And when it's on red, it means that it is not safe out there and you could possibly die if you went outside. Um, the red one can also tell you that it's time to go to sleep. So we'll head to bed and then in the morning, I will show you uh, how to build this ah, lovely day. So what you are going to need is 15 redstone dust, 3 redstone repeaters, 2 redstone torches, 3 redstone lamps, 2 red wool, 2 yellow wool, and 2 lime wool, and 64 block of your choice. I almost forgot this, you're also going to need one daylight sensor. The first thing that we are going to do is place down the light indicators, so you want to decide where you want to put them. So we're going to go... Um, we're going to go red, leave a space, yellow, leave a space, green, redstone lamps on top, and then put the other colours on top of the redstone lamps, like so. Now in between the indicators and on the ends, place some blocks three high, just so it fills in the gaps. Now come around the back, and behind the red and the green one, what we want to do is place a block behind the wool pieces, redstone on top, now behind the yellow one here, just place redstone on the ground. In front of the two blocks we placed on the... E now behind these two blocks, place redstone repeaters going into them. Then we want to place two redstone. So one here, then one to the right. On this right side, one here, one to the left. Place a block in the middle, and then we want to place a redstone torch on this face of the block so it joins up with that um, redstone there. Now behind this redstone here, place a redstone repeater going into it, over this side, another bit of redstone. Now again, behind this repeater here, we want to place a block, then go three to the right like that. And at the end, place a redstone torch, and on the top of the blocks, place redstone dust. Now you want to line yourself up with the middle here, and what you want to do is place redstone going backwards, one, two, three. Then the last thing is... Then the last thing you got to do is get out your daylight sensor and put it at the end of this redstone here and you are good to go. Now I'm going to tell you how this all works. So I've set it to the morning and what it does is this daylight sensor gives off a redstone signal strength depending on how much light there is. So as you can see it is a low signal right now because there is like no light at all. Once this signal gets up to this redstone here, this redstone torch will turn off which then turns off this red this um, red indicator and turns on this yellow one. As you can see, um, it just turned off the red one and turned on the yellow one here. Once the signal on this side reaches here, it turns on this redstone repeater, which then turns off this yellow one and turns on the green one. And as you can see, it did exactly what I just said then. Now, for the reverse, it does exactly the same. Um, so... It does vice versa, so it turns off the green one, turns on the yellow one. When it gets, when it turns off this redstone here, turns off the yellow one and puts on the red one. So as I said in the last episode, I was going to give off the world download. So the download link is in the description so you can download this world and explore all the redstone contraptions I have built. Um, so if you enjoyed this tutorial today, remember to leave a like. If you have any ideas for redstone tutorials, let me know in the comments. And I'll see you guys next time for the next redstone tutorials. Yay! Just a little thing. Someone thought I was going to stop redstone tutorials after this one. I'm not going to! So that answers your question. Bye!